It is so much fun. And like I've always said, Pella is such a beautiful town. It's like a movie set. I, I, I went down a couple weeks ago. My wife's yeah. favorite flowers are tulips. Yeah. Uh, and she's out of town right now, so unfortunately we won't be able to go this weekend. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, Jason, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, we're hoping the weather holds up for folks, yeah. though, for, for most of it. Yeah, I, I think it will for most of it, but uh, that's the key word, most. We've got chances for showers. We've got chances for thunderstorms as early as tomorrow. We'll go over more timing on those uh, coming up here in a second. But as we look at more portions of the weekend, Friday, not looking bad. 73, we'll have some sunshine there. Saturday, we do have some chances for showers and thunderstorms. So again, I'll track all that out for you coming up here. You can see on Super Doppler 8, though, we've got more showers and thunderstorms working their way through right now. In fact, a line of weaker storms uh, near Panora and more surging their way in from the southwest. So a lot of moisture. This is drought fighting moisture here, though. There are some spots to the south that are totally saturated at this point. And you look all the way to the north, upwards towards Mason City, Kasuth County westward. Uh, we are seeing even more rain. So uh, dark skies out there still looking pretty decent, though. You look down near Lamona and not too soggy just yet. And uh, your temperatures sitting largely in the mid to upper 50s. So pretty comfortable night besides the rain winds. Not too strong, We're largely around 10 to 20 miles per hour across the state. And as we look at your 12 hour forecast, I know there's chances for showers and thunderstorms for much of the day. I do think eventually, though, could see a bit of a gap through the middle portion of the day in depending where that second line fires up. And if it fires up, we could see some of this afternoon activity kind of fade away. So we'll have to see how that how uh, how that works out. But on your hour by hour here, you can see a big old batch of showers and thunderstorms rolling their way in through the overnight 4 a.m. Most of the western half of the state has it. That line strengthens somewhat as we head through the morning hours. Could see some gusty winds, potential for some small hail embedded in that. And you can see where it's trying to fire that secondary line. Hate to say it is right over Pella, but it never really gets going too much. We could see an isolated threat for some for some hail tomorrow, damaging winds, and even through eastern portions of the state. Uh, could even see a spin up tornado, but again, the odds for all of that are low at this point, but not zero. And as we head through your Friday, things do clear up, winds lighten up and we'll bring in more sunshine. So could see a good inch, maybe inch and a half of rain in spots though with this system. Friday looking clear Saturday again, more patchy showers, temperatures down into the 60s. We are eyeing up another system though as we start next week. We'll have to keep an eye on an area low pressure that's working its way on in. Could bring strong storm potential as we start next week after that we're drying out through the middle of the week with temperatures back in the low 70s.